the day. Thank you for watching this as a replay. Make sure you guys like, love, share, whatever you need to do. Um, but leave me a comment. Let me know that this was helpful to you. Uh, we're talking about planning, right? And at the end of a year, and as we're going into a new year, everybody's talking about planning. So whether you are executing a plan right now for the holidays or you're deciding that your big plan needs to be in place for January, that's why we're diving into this topic because I'm talking to clients about this every day now. So planning. If you're doing it by yourself, I'm telling you, you're just setting yourself up for failure. So what do I mean by that? Um, a lot of us decide, okay, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to execute. But we have no experience doing this, right? So often we're creating we're just writing our ideas down. We're trying to think them through, but we're staying to ourselves. So today I have three points for you guys that I want you to listen to. Um, and it's going to really help you as we're moving forward. So the thing that I'll tell you is if you're part of my Facebook group, uh, 100K Lifestyle, then we will be doing planning every quarter together. I will be reminding you and, you know, looking for feedback and giving you feedback every month, but we're going to do this planning every quarter for sure. So I want you guys looking forward to that. And we are going to start with a session in December. So go to the group so you can find out when we are getting together, because that is going to be super important for you to not do this alone. So here are the three things that I want you to be considering when you're starting to plan for your business. Um, I guess let me tell you what I mean by plan, right? Because I'm not talking about like, are you going to get on a live and talk to your audience? I'm talking about planning, like what are your next major projects? How are you getting them done? Like kind of the more infrastructure, team growth, how are you building your business? That's the kind of planning that I'm talking about here. You absolutely can plan your lives, your social media, all of those things by yourself. However, the points I'm going to share absolutely will help you in all areas of your business. And it's absolutely what I recommend. So um, for planning, the three points. And of course, I'm telling you guys, get your notebooks. I got mine. And I'm using gel pens again because I love those. Um, okay. so three points. One, if you're planning by yourself, I'm going to absolutely recommend that you do this with a business community. Do this with at least peers, if not a business coach that can understand what you're trying to do and help you get there. So it's similar to ladies cutting your hair, right? You know the style you want and you're thinking, yeah, I can take these scissors. I'm just going to cut a bob. It's going to be great. But that hairstylist will at least know how to cut the layers in, make it lay right, deal with the texture of your hair. Um, all of those things she will factor in because she's an expert. And even if you were going to do it yourself, how much more how nicer would that cut come out if you consulted with her first? And she was like, oh, hold the knife, this, and the scissors this way and cut down versus you just going to cut straight across. There's so much that you can learn from e experts, right? And so your colleagues are also helpful because a lot of things that you're planning to do, they've already done. So the first thing is making sure you're planning in a business community. Your mom and your family members that are not in business cannot really help you, right? That's basically like asking, okay, I'm going to cut my own hair. And then you just turn and ask your child, well, what do you think? What are you, you know, what are you considering? Or how do you, what's your opinion on this? You're asking somebody that can't help you. Second, be open to change, right? So, if you decided that I'm going to cut my hair and I'm just going to do these blunt cuts just straight across as long as it's even and the stylist tells you, no, you need to go in on angles. You need to hold the hair out this way and cut down. And, you know, she's giving you recommendations. You have to be open to understanding that you did not know. Right. And I'm using the haircut because it's so simple. But ladies, 
if our hair is looking terrible, we feel terrible. It, it affects so much stuff, right? And I like that analogy for the fact that in business, it's the same way. If you aren't getting advice on the things that you're planning to do and you start putting your time, energy, sweat, staying up late, getting, you know, just doing so much, then you become attached to that thing and it's hard for you to let it go. So what I'm telling you first, plan with the community so you could talk through what you want to get done and get some expert advice. Two is be open to changing, right? You don't know everything. You're guessing. You're creating plans and ideas in your own head, but you don't know the things that you should be factoring. So I want to make sure you're staying open to changing it. And third, make sure whenever Whenever, whenever you make a plan to do something, you absolutely have two things as you walk away. What am I supposed to do right now, right? What do I need to implement immediately? And then what are the next steps? Because if you don't understand what is next and you start implementing here, then you don't understand, oh, I needed to finish this so that this thing can happen. And often when distractions come and we're working on our current project or the things we need to get done now without understanding how this fits into the grander scheme, then we lose sight of what we're doing. We procrastinate. We um, don't do things well, or we're missing steps that will affect us later on. So understanding what I need to do right now and how this is going to affect me and like what's the next step is crucial for any thing that you're planning to do. So planning with a community, business coach, experts, other people who are running businesses, being open to changing your ideas because accept the fact that you created this plan really from nothing. And if somebody is there to give you expert advice, you need to take it. Um, and then third, making sure you understand what is required for now and what you're going to be doing next so that you can be the most efficient at what you're doing right now. So what I'll tell you is when I first started business coaching, um, I had already been in business. I already knew that I loved helping people with their businesses. And so there's a lot of me that just loves doing things around my birthday. So my birthday month is also the same month that I started my business, which is November. So I didn't seek anybody else's planning. I mean, I'm becoming a business coach, right? So I think I can just get this done. So I write out these plans. I'm talking to my husband. My husband's also in business, but I'm not consulting with people who run ads, launch company, you know, new companies. We've had all the businesses prior to that for quite a while. And there were other things that we've done, um, more project-based, I should say, but going in to start a brand new business I hadn't done in years. So I didn't consult anyone. I'm just like, okay, we're doing this. I write, we write it all out of how we're going to launch, what I need to start. So, you know, the Facebook page, the Facebook business page, all these things. And I read up on what I should be doing. And then I just go out and start executing it. And what I did was start running some ads in November and December. And they were very expensive, but you know, I don't know any better. I'm just like, okay, well, I guess that's what ads cost for this industry because I did use ads for my bakery. So I'm here like, okay, well, I guess that's what it costs. This is what it is. And later, once I did get coaching, once I did join a business community, I realized I just basically made like the rookie mistake of the year because running things or starting something brand new in November and December is just going to be really expensive. I did the same activity in February and it cost me, I'm not even kidding, at least five, almost 10 times less, right? So I didn't know that. I was essentially wasting money. Um, I learned a lot. I learned what was attractive to people about what I did. So that helped me with my copy and my language, but I could have learned that much cheaper. And it's only because I created the plan. What's wrong with running ads, right? 
there's nothing wrong with that. But it took my mentors literally two seconds to say, oh, yeah, don't do that now unless you're trying to spend thousands of dollars because you're competing against holiday sales. You're competing against all the big names, all the people who've been doing this for years. They have the budgets for this and you're just starting out. You should not spend your budget in that way. I didn't know. So I learned, I learned, but I lost a lot of money. And that's kind of the point that I want you guys to get. You can be in a business community and people will have experienced what you're about to go through, give you their perspective, but also that you have a business coach there helping you and teaching you and guiding you is huge. Um, the last thing I'll say is if you're, what I don't want you to do is say, oh, well, I don't have a business community, so I'm not going to make any plans. Definitely make your plans. Execute, learn. We're all going to be learning and growing. I'm just telling you that doing it alone, you could absolutely be shooting yourself in the foot, prolonging your experience, and not seeing the results that you want to see. So not doing it alone is absolutely my biggest piece of advice. And if you want to join us in the Facebook group, um, the links are in my bio. I use Linktree. So you'll see a link there for the Facebook group. Join us there. And then for those who are ready to join a business coaching community, it's called the 100K Society. And we meet weekly. We do monthly workshops together. We have 24-7 access to our online community. And that community is pretty much a vault of information past workshops, workbooks, guides, all kinds of things. Because whenever I'm asked to teach on a topic, um, we turn that into a guidebook and it's categorized by the stage of business that you're in. So if you're just starting out, if you're growing, if you're preparing to launch something, it's divided up so that you can stay in the lane and in the space that you're in and find all the resources and tools that you need to grow. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. I look forward to meeting more of you in the Facebook group. It's called 100K Lifestyle. And that's where we are talking about all the things that help support us in our life so that we can run these successful businesses and earn our 100K business incomes. You guys have a great day. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Tanika D'Souza, the 100K challenge chick, challenging you to make your first $100,000 in business. And I'm also the founder of the 100K Society, which I would love for you guys to join me. You guys have a great evening. Bye-bye.